John Kowalko, what were you thinking? What were you thinking when you cast the vote that killed House Bill 4? The bill that would have required the budget committee to release the budget three days prior to the end of the le legislative session on June 30th. The bill that would have required the bond bill committee to release their bill two days prior to the end of the legislative session. Quite frankly, your point that this is not an open and transparent government bill is not only wrong as a matter of fact, but it's also misleading. You say that the bond bill and the budget bill committees should be open to the public. You're absolutely right. You say correctly that this bill should be no substitute for the need of opening the bond and budget bill committees to the public. About that you're absolutely correct. But although those things are true, they're irrelevant. Just assume for the moment that we had an open public budget bill committee meetings. Assume for the moment the same is true of the bond bill committee. There are still very good reasons to have these bills released three and two days prior to the end of the legislative session. Here's one that gives legislators time and the public time to go over the entire bills, to go over each and every part of it and see it not only um, individually, each item individually, but the budget as a whole prior to June 30th when all this, uh, all these matters need to be decided. John, the truth of the matter is that even if we did open the budget and bond bill committees to public scrutiny and allowed people in the public to sit in during those when those committees meet. The truth is that not every Delawarean is going to have the opportunity to do that. But they might be able to read a budget and bond bill release days um, prior to the end of the legislative session. They might be able to read it then they might be able to go over it then and still participate in the public debate about how the General Assembly intends to spend their money. This is not an either or. Either we have open uh, bond bill committee meetings and budget committee meetings or we release these bills two to three days in advance. It's not an either or. It's a both and. We need both of them. John, many progressive people worked very hard. Many people in your district worked very hard to put you in the legislature because we wanted you to cast the kinds of votes that House Bill 4 was all about. Now I realize that House Bill 4 is a Republican initiative. I also realize, John, and I would certainly hope that you're an exception to this, as is Senator Karen Peterson, that on the whole in the state of Delaware, the Republican Party is the party that has taken the lead in opening the government to the people of Delaware. The Democratic Party is the one that is stifling that. 
Everybody knew that prior to this election, this last election. And everyone who was progressive supported you because we believed, and I still believe, that you represent a different point of view. One that wants to open the government to the people of Delaware and make it as transparent as possible in as, as many ways as is possible. Now, Common Cause has called upon members who voted against this bill to reconsider their vote and to support initiative, an initiative in the, the Delaware House that will bring this bill back up for a vote again. John Kowalko, I am asking you, I am asking you to be part of that initiative. To let the people of Delaware have at least two to three days to examine how their money is going to be spent before that decision is finally made. There is nothing, nothing unreasonable about that request. John, and all the rest of you who voted against this bill, we're watching, we're watching it's time to open this government to the people of this state. No more excuses.